In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. Now, you may hear some rumbling and grumbling. That is not Subsistence. I have a storm in my area. I'm going to take a chance and see if I can uh, get these videos done. I am going out of town uh, again for work. But it's not a full week, just four days. But today's Sunday, so it's right in the middle of my recording session. I don't know when I can actually upload all these videos. I will attempt to get them done. But as you can hear, we have interlopers. Yes. Hunters have decided that the rogue camp should be placed just outside my base. I'm like indignant. I, are you kidding me? Look at that fire. Look how close that fire is to my base. I'm gonna get a better perch. Oh, I don't want to be up here because of my solar pit. I, I heard that coming. Are you kidding me? Come, come over here. Come over here. Don't, don't attack my solar panels. All right. Aha, there we go. Now, is this in a... Okay, that's a rogue. For sure. I'll get a close shot, just so I can take you out easy. That's another rogue. Come on. Okay, you're a rogue. I couldn't tell if he had a uh, short shirt on. Oh, just after I heal myself. He steps around and pops me. He's like, oh, go ahead, heal yourself. I'm going to step right around and take half your health. I'm going to go kill him in a second. Ooh. I'm not so happy, mad if you're giving me wood. Now, I'm going to hold off and not heal myself. You went right back to basically where you were before, huh? I can't tell if you're still standing there. I think you moved. Ah! Using the bushes cover, I see. That won't protect you, just so you know. That's right, come into my little web. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Do I. Where's that arrow? You guys might see it. Oh, there it is. I'll take a free arrow, why not? All right, let's grab their bits. Okay, not bad. Seven wood and six planks from those guys. And I started with an empty inventory. That was all wood I got from Rogue Hunters. I have stopped bleeding. Nice. No food, but I'll take... Hey, it's a free ash uh, spot. I'll let that fire burn when I come back to it later. It'll just be a free set of ash for me. So, eh, thank you very much. Now, I'm not happy that I had to uh, use a health pot there, but it could have been worse. All right, and Don, see, I was staying near the area because I had food cooking. I'm gonna go and eat one of those. I'm gonna take one of those with me. My health will go up over time. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's get going. Now, I did take a look on the map when it was night, because when I first heard that banging, I'm like, how close is this stupid base to me? And I noticed other rogue hunter camps on the map. So I think interlopers must stop. I might have to name that the, the thumb and put it on a thumbnail. Trespassers and interlopers must stop. Cotton seed. Hello, hello, hello. See? Come on, you want to take that that glorious fun that I have every time I find a cotton seed? If cotton seeds were were so common that you get them every single day, there'd be no joy left in this world. All right. Bear is going to be an issue. I am just going to run and 
I'd rather not have the wolf on my butt at the same time. I'd rather have the bear only. Oh, hello. Carrots. The bear didn't ch Okay. The bear didn't chase. The wolf growled and started walking toward me. I'm good with that. Someone mentioned in the comments that I kept calling wolves bears or bears wolves. Don't remember. It is possible. I am uh, uh, an idiot after all, and I, I freely admit to my idiocy. But, you know, okay, so, you know, I make mistakes. I usually, whoa, uh, let's go down this way. I usually, you know, point out my own mistakes, but hey, if somebody found a mistake I didn't even notice that I made, hey, what can I say? It was a mistake. Hey, 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 hey. Um, someone, people have been saying you can't outrun a boar. I don't know. From my experience, the boar only attacks if you've attacked it. And I'm pretty sure you can outrun a boar. Let me see if I can get this boar to attack. I will do a, a test. Now, are you going to turn and attack me? No, you just want to keep running because I did so much damage to you. Ah, yes, cool. Let's let's test this out. Can I outrun a boar? Ooh, that was close. Oh, this is cool. I've never heard the boar's attack grunt when it's chasing you. I like that. And so far, so good. I've been able to outrun the boar. I'll take your bits. They might not be fresh by the time I get home, but the fat. Ooh, yeah. Okay, three fat. That's not bad. A few arrows, but it was basically a test. I wanted to see if I could outrun the boar because I've never tried. And yes, you can. So anybody who thinks you cannot outrun a boar, it can be done. Just be careful. When the boar hits, it can break your leg, and it hits like a freaking tank too. And you know. That's appropriate because in real life, you know, wild boars has killed people. So, yeah, don't mess with the boars unless you're ready for it. All right, so there is a road camp just over there. Over there. Yep, you can see the fire just right there. It's a pinpoint, but at night it was like a beacon for me. And then on the other side of the map not all the way at the lake but about halfway there kind of near central pond area oh moosey um i'll come back and get you in a moment moose i'll get you on the way home if you're if he's still there but i saw another uh fire over near central pond that probably check out today too i was getting kind of low on wood and i figured cut trees or kill rogues cut trees or kill rogues well I'm always up for killing rogue hunters, so. Rogues it is. Plus, I'm getting loot and food on the way. Ha ha ha, I got a plank. Okay, well, I can't add that to the total planks I get from these hunters. So, we will have to see. I have been questioned. I have been called out on my belief that rogue hunters give good wood. I don't know. You know, I've been messing with uh, rogue hunters for a long time in this game, and... They never fail to give me good wood. Take of that what you will. Okay, where's your fire? I don't want to... Ah, okay, you're on this side. Okay, well then, this approach actually wasn't bad. Gives me a nice rock to work with. Actually, if Cold Games wants to be mean, I could see a scenario where Rook Hunters will move, but their fire, they don't know, like if, if Cold Games wants to troll us, their fires do not uh, go out 
until they run out of uh, of energy, you know, run out of fuel, and then the fire will uh, start to decay and disappear. So if you look at night, you might see a, a landscape dotted with several fires all over the place. Maybe only two or three cotton, two or three of those actual row, those fires might actually have a row camp at it. That could be trolly. Trolly as hell. I'm listening. There was a wild animal in the area. I'm gonna try to avoid bleeding <laughs> if I can help it. Ah. Come on, I know I can get on this. There we go. Okay, one with a helmet on for sure. Uh, 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 I think he already saw me. Even if he didn't see me, he was going to get too close and was going to attack, so. Alright, where are you? If it's just bleeding, I'm okay. Not bad, not bad. Seven logs and three planks. Oh, we must roll down the hill, that's why. Five more logs from you. All right. Whoa, I actually felt that in my house. That shook my house, that was pretty damn close. And three, six more planks here. Okay, tell me I'm not getting good wood from these hunters. Especially in the form of planks. Oh my, it's planktastic. And cooked fish, and I'll just go ahead and just eat that and take it. All right, that's pretty damn good. I'm gonna start heading home. Can I craft anything to get stuff out of my inventory? Yes, I can. Uh, let's go ahead and make a bandage with that two cloth. I'm trying to get ready for the, ah. I'm trying to get ready for the moose. And I'm gonna need some space for stuff, I think. Okay, that should be good. And for some vegetables, really low, that's odd. All right, let's go ahead and refresh myself. Of course, I clear my inventory and then grab more fiber, but that's okay. I can craft along the way. Yeah, that, that's, that strike, wherever it was, was damn close. I felt it all the way through the floor in my house. As long as it doesn't hit my house, I guess I'm okay. And here's the thing. If I do lose power, you guys will never know it because... The recording will be ruined. I can't save the recording, unfortunately. I can tell you about it on the other side, but then it won't matter because it'll be a new recording, which will make me sad because I might not get so much wood from the rogue hunters. And I would miss getting wood from rogue hunters. Okay, fiber, give me a second one so that I can make some more cordage. Now, people are gonna say, you know, Critical, you could probably get more wood if you just took an ax and you went out and hit trees. You wouldn't be wasting resources healing yourself because um, if you didn't know it, the trees don't hit back. Um, and to that person, I'd say, you know what? You're 100% correct. But it wouldn't be as entertaining I couldn't make stupid jokes like hunters give me good wood. It gets every, you know, everybody laughing at me. I, it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. I get wood and I get good and I get laughs. Actually, wood and laughs, yeah, it's things I don't want to think about. Uh, what are you? 
You are oh, the bear. This is chancy, but it was worth it for the brisket for the biscuit. And we have a locked chest, but I don't make keys. Because I think hunters should give me all the keys that I need. They give me their wood, and now I want their damn keys. Guess I'm not going to see the moose. They do move around the map. Which is actually cool. The deer and the moose, if you did not know it, will periodically throughout the day shift from area to area. And Old Games has uh, set their AI up to a point that they try not to go into the same areas more than once. Meaning if they're on this side of the lake, they're going to move either toward the water or around this way. And unless they get chased by something, they don't come back to the area they've already been for that day. Now, there's, it's good and bad. Oh, see? This moose has shifted, and now it's moving to the side already. Which gives me a chance to run home, drop all this gear off, and meet him in the valley over here. The valley of his death. Impending death, I should say. Let's not assume anything. But the good part of it is... Um, well, I had an idea where the moose was going. It made it easier for me to, to find it later. The, the chance of you running into a moose or a deer is better if you stay in a generalized area because there's a good chance that a moose or a deer will move through that area during said day. The bad part is, <laughs> if you happen to be behind the moose and you're slowly moving around the map doing your thing, you might literally walk right past, you know, where the moose uh, hasn't been and the moose is headed to. And if you miss it on the way, then, you know, you fail to cross paths with said moose. That could really suck. Especially if you're really desperate for moose meat. Not bad. Um, I am ready for the moose. Let's reload real quick. Now, he was coming over there. He's either going to go this way or this way. They will go into the water, but typically only if chased, if they're on their, I'm gonna move around the map pattern. And I'm gonna assume that this moose is probably gonna head along this way. It's an assumption that could be wrong. Push the deer away. I'll grab the blueberry and then try to shift away from that wolf. Leave the boar alone. I, uh, you know, I've done my testing with the boar. I now want to test, or you know, deal with a, a moose, wolf, and bear. Bear. I saw him moving. I said, "Ah, there he is." I could have lost him, or he could have been killed by something else. Bears and wolves will attack uh, the moose, so that is possible. Yeah, yeah, run off. I never try to continuously chase a a boar to see if it'll eventually turn and start attacking. I think as I can try, not with a wolf over there because that's just going to be a pain in my rear end. All right, looks like I've lost the moose. That happens. He might have gotten chased back. I'm checking that area real quick. Because he was right there. There's a bear and a wolf. They could have taken him out. He might have gotten chased back, which might have redirected his AI. Or he moved past them and not got attacked and has already moved over this way. The area that I want to go to now is, it was right over here. 
Woe of the fortress on the other side of me. So I'll go around this way. Not that away, that away. But this away. And we'll see what I can have find. If I find the moose, the moose is gonna get cooked later. If I don't, then hopefully I'll come on in some more ro uh, rogue hunters. We'll, we'll hopefully have some more wood for him. And the form of planks is preferred. It saves me crafting time. I'm getting uh, more wood value out of each loot I get from them. These are things that make me very happy. Finding this moose will make me happy too. The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking that moose got killed by something. Oh well, it happens. We'll just continue on and head toward where I believe this road camp is. Now this one I didn't pinpoint as neatly. I just noticed the fire right it was over here because the fortress where's the fortress at fortress is here that camp was somewhere in this area man in the in the day with the sunlight beating down on the map it looks so different than uh in the evening or even in the the early dusk which is awesome because that means it's it's not a map. It's almost like a satellite view. Yeah, I know. It's not realistic. I don't care. It looks cool. I like it. I can let little things go, especially if I appreciate the complexity that went into making it work. And this I can I can appreciate. It's it's a really nice touch that the map represents the actual world we are living in. It's not just like a, a map. It is the actual living world. You can't see everything moving around. But the color palette of the the fact that it's autumn and all the grass is brown. You know, that's reflected in the coloring of the map. Ah! I see a fire. Okay, so that's where the rogues are. Perfect. That's actually a great location for rogues. At least as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna top that off. I know. Me actually remembering to uh, refill a canteen. It's a miracle. Alright. Oh well. I hit him. I didn't kill him. Oh, ha, ha, ha. that was a beautiful long shot, too. Now they are flanking, which is smart on them on their part. All right, give me the other guy without a helmet, and it'll be an easy kill. Ow! Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to get hit with an arrow, they hurt. I know, because I use them all the time. Step out. I hate when you do a Come on, I know you're what you're going to do. You're going to step out, get an instant hit, which is going to hurt me and make me bleed. I'm going to duck back down in case he is. Okay. We had that bow out still. Right, let's reload. Let's be smart. Bleeding's about to stop, so I'm not going to freak out about it for a second or two. Oh, he took a few shots. All right. Um, you know what? I hate to do it, but I'm going to be safe. There could be wild animals in the area, and if I'm trying to loot a bag... Oh, no wood. No wood again. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. Well, I got fiber, but I really wanted wood. Oh, well. 
I can't I guess I can't always get wood. Oh, hello. Were you were they storing the wood in you? No. Of course not. No food. That sucks. Uh, another locked crate? <laughs> Game's trolling me. A rifle round. Nice. Um, bear. Bag I want to loot, but not with the bear right there. Let's head back this way. The sun is on its downward trajectory. No, I can't speak. It's early in the morning. You're lucky you got, you know, words that string together that sound like actual coherent thought. Ooh, okay. Not bad. I do need all this cordage, too. I'm going to keep working on my base. Now, it's going to be a few days until I can get another run at how to make that base work over there. I need the resources. Um, I do have a some pretty... Uh, I came up even with a an expansion on the idea that I already had. I just don't know... I think I've seen other people use a downward set of stairs onto a platform that allows you to walk in the water and refill your canteens as you're refilling the planters. And I've done something similar in the past. Oh man, I didn't eat that. I'm actually hungry, which I, I'm gonna say bad, but good because I have a good meal to eat at home. I've seen people do the same kind of thing, but I think my build won't lend itself to that because of the fact that the uh, the water line at my base is already just about touching my foundations or the uh, the line. So I'm too low already. If I go down a half uh, a half wall half of a hyper wall. I'll be deep enough in the water I'm going to get wet anyways. So there's really no benefit to doing that. But I have done another build dealing with water that will work. It's going to take a lot more wood to make it work, but it will work. All right. Went out. Got that. Let's see what I can put away that doesn't go flying awesome um, you know what let's just be smart about this keep making my cordage so I ended up with 18 17 wooden planks from the hunters and 19 logs and you're right I could have gotten more by going out and actually uh, hitting some trees but I wonder if I had as much fun as I I feel I had. So there. Gnaw on that. Anything I'm building? No. I have been neglecting this base. Probably because I, are, I know I'm leaving it soon. But I should be trying to build toward my next base. Which means I should be crafting stuff. At the bare minimum, if I don't, if I don't know what else to craft, power and mass storage. Oh, I need a chicken. That's right. My chicken turned ten, and I butchered it. Butchered at night, and I get a chicken before the sun goes down. And yes, the lyrics jumped in my head, but I will not start singing. But if you know, if you know me, you probably know what song popped into my head. All right, level two wolf, not what I'm looking for. I'm not seeing any small game moving around. Ah, 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 ah. Rabbit, huh? Oh man, I missed the rabbit. I couldn't see it very well. No excuse. I should have known where to drop that arrow.
Maybe he'll lead me to a chicken. He'll sacrifice his chicken buddy so that I won't kill him. Oh well. Didn't give him a chance. I mean, if I don't get a chicken, I don't get a chicken. A little bit more fiber just before the sun goes down. <laughs> that boar's still here. <laughs> he must be bored. I know, that's horrible. Dad jokes. Alright. Run, boar, run. I'm here, I'm bugging you. Maybe if I chase you, you'll lead me to a chicken. I swear, if you lead me to a chicken, I'll leave you alone, I promise. I'm gonna run him toward my house and then just leave him alone. It's too late. Oh! Oh, crapola. Okay, guess what? If you chase a boar too long, they'll turn and hit you. All right. Well, we tested that. I don't know if it was inadvertent, because he didn't do a lot of damage. I just kind of freaked when he actually hit me. I was surprised. But, okay. Well, we tested the boars out really well today. All right, I'm gonna call this one here. I've been critical. This has been Subsistence on Season 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.